say even, Stephen, little man. You notice they call you little man, right? I noticed that you were kind of weak on that. Oh, you called? You, you noticed I was weak? Oh. Yeah, you kind of play weakly. Okay. I play more than weakly. I play more than weakly, man. I play more than weekly, baby. Oh, that's very strong. Like it? Kind of, sort of. Huh? What? What? Who? Oh, it's wow. a bizarre, bizarre move. Dante. You're in. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is not your type of chess call. You know better than this. I was up on time though. You should know better than this anyway. Dante's games, man. Yeah. Me? I don't even study. <laughs> How are you going to study? <laughs> Jadu. Jahu? Don't worry, baby. Let's get flaky. Alright, ready, set, and fire. This is not your type of stuff. Schmaguff. This is not your type of stuff. It's your turn there, Twiddle Bomb. You call me Twiddle Bomb? I was going to call you Bomb, just Bomb, but I thought that Twiddle would really help. What? 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 Did I already say what enough? You're playing today. I know, it didn't make sense then either. You're playing today, buddy. Didn't make sense. Seize one? I did seize one. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Isn't there a it's line? The isn't, there a, isn't there a thing with a line about this? <laughs> this is the end of you. I know, I know. This is the end. Everyone's here today, wow. Yeah, she's here. She played Dante. <laughs> oh, Dante. 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 I know, it's Carlini, yeah. It depends who you ask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she says she'll beat it. She beats him every game. Yeah. That's an interesting move. It's your turn. No, I mean, it really is. It's interesting. It is an interesting move. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, it's interesting. Yeah. All right. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I'm not kidding you. Okay, you're not kidding, you're not kidding. Should have been kidding. I'm not kidding. You should have been kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You dare to play there? Your turn there, Puzzle Wheat. You heard me. Nice. Thank you, sweetie. Let's go. Let's play it out, baby. Come on. 
Come on. Do what you got to do, babies. Because when it, you better be good. That's all I know. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying to do it. Okay, let's go. It's a nice check. I got to give you credit. Of course it's a nice check. That's a pretty good this check. This is the oldest mate in the book. I mean, in the book, how many books have been written about this? Eight. Eighteen? Eight. Eight? Okay, check. You're up one. Up one, big one. Big deal. Mm-mm. Big deal. <laughs> Davy Pooh. Big deal. I don't care. Yes, I am a big deal. Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Nice, beautiful mate by Carlini at the end there. The oldest mate in the book. I thought the oldest mate in the book was the four move checkmate, but <laughs> apparently it's that nice um, checkmate that Carl showed at the end. So nicely done, Carl, man. And if any of you guys were wondering, it looked like Dave had it loaded up for an attack near the end there, and the answer is yes, he did have an attack there. It's a beautiful, beautiful attack. We're going to go over it as well as um, a nice attack early on in the opening as well. So, uh, And we're going to go also go over how Dave could have kind of prevented that um, oldest checkmate in the book as well at, at the end there. So ooh, great game by both. As always, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. If you want to get Carlini a cup of coffee, his link is in the video description. Check out all the Amazon links to Chesky you see in the video as well. And um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos. All right, so let's go in this position, and um, Dave takes the knight, G takes, and then the game C4 is played. Let's go move back, pause the video. What will be another move for for white here? All right, starts off with knight F4, and let's say black plays a developing move, uh, knight D7. What would you play as white here? Sack the knight, baby. Sack the knight, pawn takes, and... Um, now which play is white here? Queen check. Queen check. And um, if, let's say, king plays king d8, what would you play as white here? Bishop a5. What? A free bishop? Come on, man. That's, uh, well, if queen takes, then what happens? You got that little queen over here. <laughs> Hard to see lateral moves as a chess player, huh? So going back here, um, instead of king d8, king e7, now what would you do? All right, you sack the knight. You might as well sack the rook here. <laughs> and um, if king back, what's going to happen is that you're going to get the queen check here, and the bishop is going to um, check the king here. So um, a lot of ways this could go, but I just want to explore what happens if king takes. If king takes, then you bring the other rook in, king d6. Bishop check. Only move here is knight, block, pawn takes, and now black is in a world of trouble here. It doesn't matter where he goes, it is mate in eight. And um, let's just say, for argument's sake, he doesn't want to go here because of all these jaws of death here. So, but where does he go back here? I mean, he's going to be susceptible to a lot of discovered checks and stuff. So, again, too many options to consider. Uh, to, so, to save time, I'm just going to go over one line. It doesn't matter. All, all moves by black and in mate so let's just say king d7 queen check king c8 queen check let's say king b8 queen check king uh, c7 discover check block and this will be mate so ooh, nice uh, beautiful attack in the in the opening potential attack in the opening there so but let's go to the main course, man. It looks like Dave loaded up all of his pieces and was primed for an attack. And you could tell he sensed it, but he couldn't find it. In the game, he decided to go pawn hunting. Let's go move back. It went from 11.1 .1 to 1 1.8. And so let's go move back, pause the video. This is a very, very hard attack to find. You have to really, really think a lot here. So um, see if you can find it. All right, it starts off with... Rook e8, rook e8, and obviously black cannot take because you're going to get the check and um, only moves queen block and then mate. So um, for now, black can't do anything, but black has to be careful because what is white's next move here? All right, let's just say white has another move, uh, another move right now. What white's going to do is going to play queen check here. And where's the king going to go? King can't go here or here. If the king goes back, then 
rook takes rook if queen blocks and obviously just queen takes and the and the rook is pinned so uh knight d3 to guard the square but now white can play rook takes rook king takes queen e7 and what is the point of this queen e7 you'll see um right now it, it doesn't matter what black is going to do black can maybe bring back the knight for defense but it's uh you as you'll soon see that doesn't do anything so let's just say b3 um two steps away from queening but now white has knight d6 check now you know why the queen was there and let's see what happens if um king b8 then um queen check and if king c7 then knight check and look at that what a beautiful knight check Cutting off the king here and here. Only escapes were cut off, so king cannot move, so queen has to take and that. So going back here, instead of king c7, what happens if king a7? Then, of course, you have the beautiful fork. And uh, just goes to show you how well a queen and a knight coordinate well together. So that was the attack for Dave there. Very, very hard to find, though. you got to really sit and kind of go into a long think there. Um... But yeah, the attack was there. Very beautiful attack. Um, let's and, and finally, last but not least, um, let's go here in this position and in the game. Carl delivers the oldest checkmate in the book. Let's go move back. How does White prevent that? Queen f7. So if Black goes in for the check, then and if White goes or Black goes in for the queen check, then you have f4 preserves shelter for the king and. Um, Queen, it's guarding the pawn, so would have been a way to avoid it. But yeah, whew, what a what a great game by both, man. It looked like Dave was on the hunt, had it all, had the gun loaded, man. Just couldn't um, find the trigger. And Carlini, um, always uh, always fun delivering uh, the oldest checkmate in the book. Nicely done, Carl. Great 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 game, Dave, man. Um, would have been a great attack if you had found it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the game and the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.